hello and welcome to my youtube channel my name is rose and in today's video we are going to talk about meeting somebody on a dating site and then this person tells you that he's married but he's coming to marry you in kenya <laughs> I had this comment yesterday uh, which I addressed on one of my TikTok videos. Uh, somebody said that they have met this person uh, who is coming to marry her but he's already married in his country and the question was uh, would his wife have a right to the properties that we are going to accumulate in Kenya because uh, we are planning to set up a business. So for me like the question that i asked her was like why are you getting married to somebody who is already married and more importantly how are you going to do it because to marry a foreigner you have to go to the ag office you know you have to go to the registry and you have to do a civil wedding now when it comes to marrying a foreigner in kenya the requirements are very clear. You can get them on eCitizen. You can just log in into your uh, eCitizen and you can see the list of the requirements. So this foreigner, first of all, has to bring a certificate of no impediment, okay, or a letter of no impediment. Th this is a document that states that he has no impending marriage in his country. If he's divorced, he has to produce the divorce papers. And if the divorce is older than two years, he still needs to produce the certificate of no impediment. Uh, if the spouse is deceased, he needs to produce the death certificate of the deceased spouse. And if the death occurred, you know, two year, more than two years ago, he still needs to bring the certificate of no impediment. Okay. Uh, when it comes to the American citizens, uh, he has to bring the, the, let's say he's divorced, he has to bring the divorce papers. If uh, the spouse is deceased, he has to bring the death certificate. And if the divorce happened uh, more than two years ago, he has to book an appointment with uh, the American embassy in Kenya, I'm giving an example in Kenya like I always do. So he has to book an appointment with the American embassy in Gigiri to go and swear an affidavit of marital status. To swear that he's not married to somebody else. Okay? So now all these documents before he brings them, uh, of course, they have to be legal documents. It's not something that you just draft and then you print out and you bring to Kenya their legal documents okay um and when it comes to these matters those those documents are scrutinized like you know all this why why this foreigner is bringing all these documents is to prove that he's free in his country to marry you in kenya to come and marry you in kenya so tell me how somebody could think that you could facilitate a foreigner coming to our country with false documents which are gonna be found out anyway as soon as you go to sharia house let me tell you something about sharia house you guys as soon as you as you get to sharia house chances are they are go you know the police is just there you guys are just gonna be arrested you're just gonna be arrested right there okay because these are things that our government don't don't play with you know, you, we as Kenyans, we have this thing, we think we are street smart. We are so smart, we can maneuver our way about everything. But there are some things you cannot play with, okay? Bringing a foreigner and telling him that, oh, it doesn't matter, you're married to your country, you can still come and marry me in my country. With a certificate? Because according to her, she, they want to set up a business, which means this foreigner needs a marriage certificate in order for him to... Uh, apply for residential papers in Kenya. So he, he wants to marry her for papers, but it's, 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 it's a bigamy. It's, you guys are committing a crime. <laughs> like, I don't even get it how she's going to do it. I did try to ask her some more questions, but then she, uh, she didn't continue with the, with the, with the discussion. She, she just said, no, it's not fraud. It's business. What kind of business? I feel like, if you want to get married, just get married to somebody who is free to marry you. 
okay like we are becoming so desperate we are doing like some really weird stuff online like it doesn't even make sense and one thing that um really gets to me is the way that the audacity that we have to even facilitate a foreigner coming into our country into our land to break our laws in our land and this is something uh, and i mentioned it on that video that i posted there this is something that we saw happen uh, a couple of weeks ago in malindi two women you know just decide that they are going to to feed this monster like i don't even want to get into that because like this this is oh my god it really 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 gets me angry because when you when you start you know introducing little innocent kids to monsters and and just i don't even know i don't know like how we got here I don't know. And I spoke about this two years ago. I posted a video and uh, that video I posted it on TikTok because that's where the, the, the event took place. There was a woman who was bragging about, you know, exposing kids online, you know, her, her, her brother's kids, or I don't know whether it was her sister's kids, but they were her nieces, two nieces. And people didn't take me seriously and some even came into my comment section and started, you know, insulting me and saying, oh, why are you making a big deal? Why are you saying all this? But the thing is, once you do that online, you are feeding an appetite, okay? You are feeding an appetite and what will happen now is those monsters going to find a way to, you know, to satisfy that appetite. That's what happened in Malindi. So you guys, we need to stop. I said this and I'm going to say it again. We need to stop facilitating foreigners coming to our country and committing crimes. It doesn't matter whether it's, it's um, like in, in that case where that lady was like, you know, yes, he's married, but he can still come to Kenya and marry me and then we can set up a business. Marry you how? That is bigamy. You know, in this Western world, polygamy is not actually allowed. Like it's not recognized. You cannot say that you're married to two wives. You can only legally be married to one wife in most countries. Like even in Kenya, I don't think you can go to Sharia house and have a civil union, have a civil marriage with, with two, two wives and have two marriage certificates, especially as a foreigner. You know, in Kenya, we do have, of course, traditional uh, marriages. We do have a customary marriage uh, where you can marry i don't know several wives under the customary law but this guy is a foreigner he's not of any tribe in our country and he's doing this because he needs papers so obviously if you're gonna do uh, um if you're gonna do a civil marriage you're doing it because you want to get that marriage certificate because you need it okay so this guy needs that uh, marriage certificate to go now and and file for for residential papers in kenya like this gets me so frustrated uh i don't think we should be so desperate to do whatever it takes just to a point where now we are facilitating you know crimes being committed in our country that is it's so unfortunate and it's so sad okay we need to stop this if you want to get married if your your dream is to get married to a foreigner find one who is free to marry if somebody says they are separate even if he says he's separated that means he's not free to marry he's still married to his wife in fact a lot of separated couples uh, tend to get back together okay they go they you know they they do their thing you find some somebody might even fly to kenya and do his thing or she she does her thing and then in the end they go they meet their their marital counselor and then they they sort out their differences and they get back together so a separated person is not free to marry okay somebody who is married in his country he's not free to marry he is already married okay so I just wanted to bring this issue here. I don't know what you what your opinions are. I would like to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Please share. <laughs> like I'm really looking forward to reading your comments because for me this is wrong. It's just wrong. It's wrong. I'm not saying it's wrong to fall in love with somebody who is uh, from a different country and maybe he's separated or whatever the case might be. That that has like it's neither here nor there. I'm just saying it's wrong to facilitate a foreigner coming into our country to break our laws. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying.
okay taking somebody to sharia house knowing very well you know if he lied to you and he said no i'm i'm, I'm single i'm not married then you're innocent you don't know but taking somebody to sharia house knowing very well this person is married and faking documents those documents will be found out they don't play in sharia house that's why i got married like we took my husband's papers we had to bring the originals that were not in english and we need we had to bring the notarized ones that were in english translated into english and they were scrutinized they're not like there is no it's not gonna you're not gonna get through with that you're just gonna be arrested at sharia house you're going to jail be careful out there get involved with people who are free to be with you like what's the point of dating somebody who is so far away like is so far away and then you're just dating somebody who is going sleeping next to his wife <laughs> like what what is the reason what is the reason and while we are at this there, there are also people who are actually getting married as holiday wives okay somebody marries you you know he's got a wife in in in, uh, in his country and then he tells you to, uh, that you guys are going to do this traditional ceremony you know i'm gonna pay for your dowry and we're gonna you know wear your traditional garments and we're gonna do this whole traditional thing and in your mind you think you're married because you did that whole traditional thing and he paid your dowry but in his country he's not married to you whatsoever because he, the laws of your of your, uh, tri your you know your tribal laws and your your customs don't apply in his country because he's not kenyan he's not from your tribe he does not he's he's he has nothing to do with your customs and your traditions absolutely not he doesn't even respect those customs of yours and your traditions so he makes you do this thing and then now you're sitting there you know saying you're married you're married but he just keeps you there as a holiday wife when he feels he wants to uh, come and play with with a young african usually they choose the, the very young very young girls and then they tell you that they have married you so when, once he feels he wants to play with a young african girl then he books a flight then he comes and then he stays with you for like, for a couple of weeks he has lied to his wife uh, that he has gone on a business uh, trip you are the business <laughs> so well if you like that kind of arrangement and it's open you you know what is happening then there's nothing wrong with that like you just do you but if somebody is gonna trick you into becoming a holiday or if you keep telling him oh babe i would I, now i would like to come to your country he cannot take you to his country because he's married and he cannot file any papers that have to do with you because nobody knows about you okay he doesn't want the government to know about you of course his government so you are just hidden there you know he comes he does his thing and then he goes back and then he comes he does his thing then he goes back and be wise just be wise if you're gonna end up in these kinds of um, arrangements then get into these arrangements knowing what you're getting yourself into then you can you know you can make your own decision what you want to do but don't just go there trusting people and say oh yes he married me or uh, you know we got uh, we did a traditional wedding there is no such thing as traditional wedding you can do the traditional wedding just you know because you want to um follow your traditions and your customs but of course i told you when it comes to international uh, marriages your marriage certificate is what talks okay and you have to go and get it certified you get the blue copy which is the uh, certified copy of your marriage certificate and take it to the foreign affairs to get that stamp from the foreign affairs there is no embassy that is going to accept your marriage certificate unless you go and get the blue copy which is the certified copy and it's got the stamp from the foreign affairs ministry in kenya then you can take it to the embassy and say this is my husband and this is what what is going on and all that marriage certificate is what talks when it comes to international marriages when it comes to this whole intercultural uh, dating you know uh, uh, dating outside the continent going marrying americans and europeans and asians and anybody who is not a kenyan 
in Kenya, if you are just marrying from a, from another tribe, then you can do your traditional wedding and then that's it. But if you're marrying somebody who is a foreigner, you need a marriage certificate. That is what talks. If you don't have that, my sister, you are not married. You are free. You are free to marry. If you don't have a marriage certificate and you don't have that blue copy, and you are saying you are married to a Muzungu or to a black American or to a white American or to a Chinese or Japanese or Indian or whoever it is, any my sister, you are not married. You are free to marry. In fact, start looking for a husband. You are free. <laughs> anyway, my name is Rose. I just wanted to bring this discussion here because I really want to hear your opinion. I, I want to hear what you think about this because... Um, for me, I think this is wrong, okay? I think uh, you facilitating or somebody facilitating a foreigner coming to break our laws in our country, uh, I think that is so wrong. Like, you are even showing this foreigner that you don't respect your own laws, you don't respect your country. Like, I don't care what you think about Kenya, okay? Do not go slandering our country out there. I saw somebody posting a video talking about, you know, and be careful you guys what you are saying on the internet. I saw somebody talking so badly about our country and they are begging to be taken by another country that they should go there and, and work there and our country is so bad. I don't care. I don't care. Like, how can you, how can you speak so badly about your own country where you come from? your roots, your blood, your soil, your land, your origin. You wait until I pray. I pray to God that he grants you a visa to go to those countries you want to go, you know, go and live in, in, in countries in Europe, whichever country you want, America, Canada, wherever it is that you want, Australia, wherever it is that you want. I pray that you do go there because you are going to appreciate, you are going to appreciate where you are coming from. You're going to appreciate our land. Like you'll be speaking so highly of Kenya, you won't even believe it yourself. Please, let's, let's uh, respect where we come from. That is our land. Yes, we got our challenges. We got our issues. E each country has its, issue, its issues. Like for me, since I have lived in these countries, I can see they have their own issues. It's not as perfect as you think it is. It's not as you see it in movies and in documentaries where they are showing only the nice things. Each country has its own challenges and its issues. So don't go slandering our country. Don't go disrespecting our countries to these foreigners and showing them that they can just come to Africa and just do whatever they want. Like how? Anyway, thank you for coming to my YouTube channel today. Please leave your comments below. I am there. I just, I want to have this conversation with you. Leave your comments below. Here on this channel, we talk about online dating. We talk about relocating. We talk about age gap dating, interracial dating. We discuss those kinds of topics. So if you like these kinds of uh, videos, please consider subscribing. Please consider sharing my video with somebody who might find it useful. My name is Rose and I shall see you on my next one. Bye bye for now.